What's up ASC TV? Today we're going to take a look at installing Sysmon and WinLogBeat on Windows. Uh, Sysmon is an enhanced auditing feature for Windows and WinLogBeat is a log shipper that sends log data off a Windows client and it goes to an Elastic server. And in order to view that data, we're going to configure an index on Kibana, which will allow us to view and uh, query Windows log data uh, much more efficiently than if we just use like the Windows event viewer. So as always, let's take a look at our network diagram. In the last video, we installed Elastic and Kibana on our Debian machine. But this time we're going to concentrate on our Windows client, which is on our internal network. And there we're going to install Sysmon, then WinLogBeat. And then we're going to go back to the Kibana interface on our Debian machine, and we're going to configure an index. So to begin our Sysmon install, we're going to look at some of the needed files. We're going to need um, the sysmon.zip, which I downloaded from Microsoft, and I uploaded to Canvas. So I will download that. I'm going to put it in a folder that I'm about to create, just to make sure everything stays organized. I'll put that there. And then I'm also going to need a configuration file, which is an XML file. And I am going to download that and put it in the same folder. Finally, I'm going to use this view sysmon logs PowerShell script, which will help me test out to make sure that everything was working once I got it installed. So great, I have those saved. Uh, now I am going to look at my Windows machine, which as you can see, I have a working Elastic server. And let me go to my downloaded files. And just for the sake of ease of use, I'm just going to drag these over onto my desktop as a virtual machine. There we go. And we can begin the install. Center that a little bit. There we go. So the first thing I need to do is I need to find a place to put these files. So I'm going to open up an Explorer. I'm going to navigate the program files. Click over here. New folder. I'm going to call it Sysmon. Great. Go in there. So I know I'm going to need my Sysmon XML. That, and then I'm going to view what's inside here. And I want the Sysmon64.exe. So I'm going to drag that in there. Continue that. And from there, I will open up a command prompt as administrator. And I will navigate to the newly created Sysmon folder. Make sure everything's there properly. And to run this, all we need to do is just run sysmon64.exe-i and then pass it to Sysmon XML. So it looks like everything ran and it's going, so that's good. So now we can exit from there. And let's take a look at our PowerShell. All right, and I will go there and I will run this view sysmon. Okay, had a little issue. It was um, 
the view-sysmon-logs was named ps, so I renamed it with the following command to ps1. So with that, I can now run view sysmon logs ps1 and I'm getting sysmon data back. So that's good. That means that worked. So next we can go to installing winlog beat. All right, winlog beat is installed very much the same way as sysmon. Um, first, let me go to our class resources, and I think it's in the Elastic folder. I'm going to need to download uh, winlogbeat and winlogbeat.yml. So I will save link as. Go back up here, create a new folder, just make sure everything is organized. that one in there and then I'm going to need this YML file put that in there move that go go into that folder and then just same way as I did with sysmon just drag these files in there letting VMware tools do all my work for me all right. Okay, so now just like with Sysmon, I'm going to create a folder inside program files for WinLogB to run from. So we go to C colon backslash program files. Folder. Go into that folder and first thing I'm going to do is view the files inside the zip and I'll click in there just to get directly to the files. I'll just copy and paste these here. There we go. Let me close that. And now I just have to overwrite this winlogbeatfile.yml with this one. So I'll move that, replace it. And the reason why we had to do that was because this one is formatted just to take the security and also the sysmon logs. But also its output host is elastic.lab, which was a DNS reservation that we set up uh, in the last video. So now we have that, we can exit those windows and go into PowerShell, run as administrator, there we go. We're going to have to run a script, so we'll set execution policy to bypass. And we'll change directory to program files, win log beat. PIR, and what we need to run is this install service win log beat.ps1. So hit tab until it gets to it. Oh, my fault. Let me see. Install, there we go. So we will uh, run that. And it comes right back with a stopped WinLog beat service, but that's actually a good thing. It means it installed the service and set it up for us and it's ready to go. So we should be able to exit out of there just fine. Now we type in services. I sort by description. The first thing it'll give me is WinLogBeat. And then I can start that service. And it looks like it started successfully and it's good to go. Okay, so the next thing we have to do um, is to set up Kibana so that we can read our, uh, our WinLogBeat data that's being sent to it. So let me bring up a browser again. We'll go to Kibana. And before we had uh, 
Kibana was asking if we wanted to add sample data or use data from Elastic or something like that. But what we want to do, we can hit this little discover thing right here. And it says that it had, it asks us if we want to create an index pattern. And the reason why it's asking us that is because it's found the win log beat data that's coming from our Windows machine. So um, all we have to do from here, actually, let me go down and show you how to get to it from the main page. So generally, when you want to create an index pattern, you go to this gear, click there, and then go to Kibana index patterns. And from there we get a um, we get a list of we or we get the list of our current index patterns, which we have none. But if we click on the elastic index management, we can see that we have an index. So let's go back to Kibana and then we'll create an index. So we want to type win log something enough data until you get this success. Your index pattern matches one index. And from there, you can hit next step. It's going to want to know how it should uh, filter or how it should index your time or your uh, data. So always select timestamp and create index pattern. And there we go. Now it says there's a win log index pattern. And even though we only have one machine that's sending data, if we had, you know, 100, 1,000 machines sending data, they would all meet this index pattern because they'd all be named win log something. So from here, we can go to our data and we can see that we now start, we have some uh, log data that's coming in. And we can look up and see that there's things that we've done, ran Firefox, stuff like that. So a lot of useful data. Um, just to make sure that everything's working properly, let's go and go back to our Windows host and open up a command prompt. And let's type in, who am I? Which this is a very typical command that you know, a attacker or a red teamer would type in when they got initial access into a system so they'd find out which user they are. Now we can go back here, we can refresh everything, and let's type in who am I? And we can see that we got the list, or we, we got a copy of that executable being run. And we even have from Sysmon, a uh, mapping to the MITRE ATT&CK technique saying that it's uh, system owner and user discovery. So with that, we should be totally caught up. We have all of our auditing, our log shippers, Sysmon installed, and um, we're ready to totally monitor everything that goes on in this Linux system or in this Windows system. So thank you very much, ASCT. Have fun with this.